So I was browsing YouTube and I came across this video titled Gabby Hanna Needs to be Stopped by Jesse Smiles. And I don't know anything about Gabby Hanna, I don't know anything about Jesse Smiles, but I do know a lot about drama and specifically drama videos that are 20 to 40 minutes long that read out DMs. This has become popular with James Charles versus Taddy. KSI vs Deji, and most recently Cole Kerrigan vs The Ace Family. So I was very interested to see how this one would turn out and oh boy it's definitely not like the others because usually the person to first come out with a video like this has bad intentions and only wants to grow their YouTube channel off false allegations but this one seemed a lot more personal and had a lot less bullshit in it but not to the point where it didn't have flaws and I see a lot of people taking this video at face value to the point where they're not even questioning anything said in it or are willing to hear Gabby Hanna out. I will say Gabby has not put out a statement regarding this situation yet and I made the conscious choice to not care about that. And don't get me wrong, a lot of what was said in this video does make Gabby look like a horrible person, but I just don't think it is cancel worthy. Now before you dislike, let me explain why. So the video starts off with her explaining how Gabby Hanna was recently in a drama between her and Trisha Paytas. That drama being that Gabby told her friend who was sleeping with Trisha Paytas that Trisha Paytas might have herpes. Now this was a rumor she heard and she just wanted to warn her friend in case he didn't know and you know was secretly having sex with someone with herpes. That rumor ended up being false so it looked kind of horrible on Gabby Hanna's part and obviously caused a lot of drama between her and Trisha. Now because this drama was happening, Jesse was watching on the sidelines and decided to make this cryptic tweet directed towards Gabby Hanna. It says, if you are a shitty person, the world will find out. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, but it's only a matter of time. And due to the drama going on at the time and Jesse's previous friendship with Gabby Hanna, it was pretty clear that she was talking about Gabby in this tweet and this sparked a ton of discussion to the point where a fan tweeted out this. I think a lot of people forget or don't know that Gabby Hanna chose a rapist, a rapist who admitted and wrote slash signed a confession to the cops over her then best friend who was the victim. And she didn't just do it privately, but publicly. That's always bothered me. Now the friend she is referring to is Jesse Smiles. So obviously this is a very serious allegation. This tweet gained a lot of traction to the point where Gabby Hanna saw it and decided to slip into this fan's DMs, which this fan later leaked to Jesse, which prompted her to make the video on Gabby Hanna. So the main issue that arose from these DMs being sent is that Gabby went way too far in trying to convince the fan that Jesse wasn't that great of a person. While showing private texts between her and Jesse, to prove it to this fan. Obviously that's overstepping multiple boundaries and that is essentially the crux of Jessie's entire video and her main criticism towards Gabby. But this criticism only holds water if Gabby's goal was to manipulate the fan to disliking Jessie. And for various reasons, I believe that this isn't exactly the case, although it might have been a side effect of what she was trying to accomplish. Let's go over the DMs and then I'll tell you why I think this. If I collabed with my friend's ex, especially publicly, where is it? Where is any photo, any video? It doesn't exist because it didn't happen. That man is not my friend, has never been my friend. I think I tweeted at him one time before I ever even met Jesse and that's it. So how this story is a thing, I'll never understand but I want to. Deanna says, Gabby, I truly appreciate you asking and I want to hear your side. My tweet was really harsh and you didn't come at me with hate or anything. As far as I and 99% of your subscribers or people on this side of the YouTube fence believe that you took his side when the allegations dropped. And if I have anything wrong or mistaken, please feel free to show me your side and correct me. The collab video was something someone in my mention said and I didn't fact check that and I apologize for jumping the gun on that one. There has never been a single photo, video or literally anything to back that up because it's simply not true. If if it is, 
please someone send me whatever video or photo collab I ditched my best friend for. Jesse broke my fucking heart, dude. I 100% let out all my emotions on that tweet and I'll own that. But if you look up the situation or ask anyone on Twitter about it, everyone says that you publicly came out and supported him. And like you told me, you and Jesse weren't friends anymore. I thought you guys were best friends and so does everyone else. That's a huge chunk. So Gabby says, send me a screenshot. What's the date? And no, I never would publicly support him. Her and Jen started a hate campaign about me saying that I ditched her to collab with her rapist because he had more followers. I have never said that in my life, Gabby. I have never in my life said that you left me to collab with Curtis because he had more followers. And then Deanna says, Gabby, I swear to God, you gotta stand up and share your story once in a while because your literal audience, me, someone who's followed you for years, have been told something completely opposite. So based on what Gabby said there, based on what Jesse said there, and based on my own research, I don't see any proof of Gabby publicly supporting Jesse's rapist. Therefore, the fan's tweet was wrong and Gabby had a legitimate reason to reach out to this person. So everything up until this point that Gabby said, except for maybe blaming the rumor on Jesse, is 100% fine. But here is where the issues come in. Gabby started sending my private text messages with her to this fan. And she says, like the girl had tried to bring me down so many times and in the meantime, look. And she sends a message, which I'm not even gonna read, I'm gonna put it on screen, but it's so dumb because it's just me talking to her. Like it's just me messaging her. So I guess her point of trying to show this is being like, you see like Jessie's mad now and she has no right to be because we spoke months ago. And then she says, yeah, she's so friendly to me, pretends to be sorry and smiles in my face, then does shit like this when I'm in trouble. You're implying something, like when you're saying then does shit like this, what did, what did I do? I put one cryptic tweet that I deleted hours later that I didn't even mention you or at you or anything. So obviously here, sending a private text between Jesse and her to a fan is obviously overstepping some boundaries and I feel like she's getting into the territory where maybe you should not be telling this to a fan, maybe you should be sending this to somebody else that won't leak it, that you trust, or maybe not even send it at all because you can make your point without it. But the point she's trying to make here is that Whenever Gabby's in trouble, which would be the Trisha Paytas drama, Jesse would pull this shit, which obviously she's referring to the cryptic tweet. And here I kind of see Gabby's point. Normally, in a situation where these people aren't big social media influencers, it would be a stupid thing to get angry at Jesse for, but since Jesse has such a big audience, and that audience most likely knows she's talking about Gabby, it really doesn't do Gabby any favors to make these cryptic tweets, and since they were on good terms, at least in Gabby's eyes, I can see this as being frustrating for her. But here is where the messages get to a point where I feel Gabby is 100% at fault. Deanna says, this is so confusing. And then Gabby, yet again, just starts sending private messages. And these are even worse because these messages are from a time where Jen, one of my closest friends, we stopped talking for about, I wanna say it was like six months. In the end, we realized that Gabby turned us against each other. I talk shit about Jen to Gabby. Jen talks shit about me to Gabby. We stopped being friends because of it. You know, it was like this insane thing because me and Jen have always been so close. We never even fucking fought. We never fought a day in our life and since this whole thing happened. Like we fought one time and the common denominator was Gabby. She manipulated both of us against each other until we both divulged secrets with her, said shit that we shouldn't have said. And she took messages from when Jen was talking shit about me and she sent them to Deanna. Ask me why. Ask me fucking why because I don't know. I have no idea why she would send these at all like there is no reasonable explanation for her to be sending these whatsoever i guess the argument here is that hey she's doing it to manipulate this person but why would she try to manipulate just one person when she can manipulate millions on her youtube or twitter with that being said, let's get into the second major allegation made against Gabby. And this is where we start getting horrendous. She says, I told him verbatim when he reached out after what Jesse did to me. I got a call from an unknown number and answered it and it was him. She's talking about the man who raped me. And he said, I heard what happened and I want to apologize for being so unkind to you in the past. And I said, thanks for the apology. But just so you know, I'd never side with you or bash Jesse publicly regardless of what she did. But the shit she did was so nasty that Curtis heard about it. I don't even know how to express what I felt when I saw this message. This was the most, 
one of the most disgusting parts of all these messages to me. Number one, you lied. He didn't call you. You hung out with Curtis's friends. Curtis was there. This is what you told me. He pulled you to the side and he told you that. He told you, I'm so sorry I was mean to you. I can't believe what Jesse did to you. Trying to get on your side. That, that part's true, but it happened in person. And the reason why I remember it happened in person is because you told me I'm getting like really worked up and really fucking annoyed. I'm sorry. Gabby told me when I communicated to her, this was after we had stopped being friends, but even though we had stopped being friends, one of the things that I believe you never do, even if you hate someone now, is hang out with their rapist and his friends. So I was hurt and I told Gabby, Gabby, this is fucked up. Like I'm really hurt. And she defended herself when all of this happened and she said, I was hanging out with his friends. I wasn't hanging out with him. He just so happened to be there and he pulled me to the side. I didn't intend to talk to him, whatever. And I communicated with her and told her how much that hurt me. And that was the point where she told me something like I will literally never fucking forget because I cannot believe like till this day that she would say something like this. She said, Jesse, Curtis's friends didn't rape you. What the fuck do I say to that? Like. I don't know. So this situation is tricky because both Jesse and Gabby are accusing each other of lying. In Jesse's tweet response to this whole controversy, she sticks with the story of her getting a call from Curtis and then adds that when Jesse reached out to rekindle their friendship, that for transparency's sake, she mentioned the phone call with Curtis and that prompted Jesse to block her on all social media and presumably start rumors about her collabing with the rapist. She also denies the comment of saying, well, his friends didn't rape you, but also admits that she was a very aggressive, angry, and defensive person back then, and when she felt attacked, she would just spray bullets out of her mouth. So it is possible that she did say something along those lines. Ultimately, what this shows me is that Gabby is just not a good friend, or at least at the time, she wasn't that good of a friend. Because instead of helping and being understanding towards her friend, she decided to be defensive and say aggressive things back in order to seem like she's not at fault. Which, to be fair, is manipulative, but I think it's unintentionally manipulative behavior. Because she's just in this selfish mindset of justifying her bad actions rather than being manipulative with the intention of her friend being wrong. What I'm saying is that Gabby probably wanted herself to be right, as well as her friend to be right, but because of her defensive nature at the time, she would prioritize herself over her friend. Another important aspect to this is how Gabby supposedly reached out to Jesse and attempted to be honest with her and was greeted by a block instead. And this is something that she actually mentions in the DMs that Jessie reads out in her video. She's called me so many times saying she's been on meds and is better now and was sorry for everything, then blocks me out of nowhere and it starts all over. This is the most disgusting shit. Like, I swear to you, I cannot believe that she said this. And notice how she completely ignores it while focusing on the medication comment instead. Which proves to me that she actually did go out and block Jesse multiple times as a result of these feuds because, well, she doesn't really deny it in the video. And this tendency to block Gabby is why I think that while Gabby was being manipulative in those DMs with the fan, I think it was completely unintentional. I know people like this who vent to people about another person they have an issue with and because they've had an issue with them for so long, their messages come across as very hostile towards that person, which obviously manipulates the recipient into disliking the person that said venter is talking about. But I don't think it's an intentional move to get people to turn against Jesse. I just think that because Jesse blocks Gabby whenever they have some sort of confrontation, Gabby has never been able to vent out her full grievances to Jesse directly. So instead, that venting accidentally came out when she was trying to explain to the fan why her tweet was factually incorrect. Plus, if her goal was to intentionally turn this person against Jesse, why would she only do it to this one person? When she could easily broadcast this to millions of people, just like Jesse did to Gabby. To me, I think she was just frustrated by the tweet that this fan made decided to contact them to clear up the situation, and because she had such a need to vent about Jesse and had nobody to talk to about Jesse prior, she subconsciously used this opportunity to get stuff off of her chest in regards to her friendship with Jesse. 
Ideally, you would want to tell this stuff to the person's face, but as we know from the video and what Gabby has said, and Jesse not really refuting it, Jesse tends to block and cut off forms of communication when she feels like she's being manipulated, and she feels manipulated because Gabby accidentally comes across as manipulative. It's a bad trait that Gabby should probably fix, but I don't think it's done with malicious intent. And that's the point I want to make in this video. I don't think either of these people are necessarily the bad guys in this situation. I think that they had a rocky friendship, and because it went unsolved, and they're both YouTubers, it just came out in a bad way with this fan being the catalyst to the drama coming out. I think it's important to realize that Gabby thought this information was going to be confidential, and that's an important detail when discussing the motives for why she would say and send these things to this fan. She didn't handpick a fan to just dump all of this info onto, hoping it would get leaked and that Jesse would be exposed. She had a legitimate reason to reach out to this fan, being the incorrect tweet they made, and then went overboard in the DMs, probably because she got overly emotional or invested in the viewer for whatever reason. I still think it's dumb, but are we really going to cancel Gabby Hanna for venting in somebody's DMs? Sure, if she was trying to mass manipulate an audience, I think that would be cancel worthy. But trying to manipulate one person, whether it's intentional or not, is that really cancel worthy? I'd also like to lightly criticize Jessie for making this video in the first place. She mentions multiple times throughout her video that it was the only option because she didn't want to communicate with Gabby and be manipulated again and be shut up. But in my opinion, I feel like making these type of YouTube videos is never the answer. There's always other options, even if it's something super serious like sexual assault. I feel like that's best dealt with the police, and then anything else less severe is best dealt with just behind the scene. But that's just my opinion, I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. I feel like this video is going to be very decisive, so even if you don't necessarily agree with my opinion, if you respect it and understand it, I would appreciate you putting a like instead of a dislike, because it will let me know if you guys want to hear my unpopular opinions in the future, even if you might not agree with it. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with all the drama going on in the community, follow my Twitter if you're interested in that as well. Thank you so much to my channel members, and with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.